not to be present. So God bless you, Bishop. I pray right now that you will continue to do everything you're doing. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all over you. I pray his favor. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hair. God, I thank you for your blessings. Everything nowadays is spiritual. Any word somebody says to you right now, when you say amen to it, or when you clap hands to it, or when you try to know it, you don't know the impact of it behind in the spiritual world. You don't know it. So do not let anybody lay hands on you. I don't know about, I don't know the, the, um, the connection between Tyler Perry and Tilly Jakes. I don't know about their friends, the friendship. I don't know much about their backgrounds and stuff. But however, that was not supposed to happen, especially in front of everybody. What are you teaching to others? So anybody who's rich, we can go to them. Anybody who's famous can lay hands on me. Why? Good day and welcome back to Life with Amandi. I hope you all did fine. Compliment of the seasons. Um, this is the first video of 2024. We thank God for this. And we appreciate one more time another beautiful year for us to achieve whatever that we felt to achieve last year. And we believe in God, we know that it is possible, okay? As it says in Luke 1, 37, there is nothing that is impossible with God. So we as believers also have faith that we can always achieve whatever we failed to achieve the previous year. Because as, as long as you're still living, there's still hope. And as long as you're still breathing, there's still hope, there's still another chance for you to achieve whatever you could not do, actually. Whew. Seems like I'm preaching this year. <laughs>
what really is going on why that like what gives you the authority to do that what what gets you um okay let's see maybe the holy spirit just went to him but then why lay hand why can't you just pray okay i feel like it should have been the other way around i feel like tdj should have been the one actually he brought him forward he could have maybe lay hands on him because first of all of his title first of all of who he is because the person who lays hands is more like a, it's usually a prophet a priest or a deacon so i feel like things were like swapped <laughs> i don't know i feel like td jack should have been the one doing so i don't understand why he had to be the one to do it guys not anybody should be laying hands on your head like literally not anybody should be laying hands on your head okay when you lay hands on someone there's power that you transmit there is there's this transfer that takes place between one person to another usually from the person who's laying hands to the person to, to, to passing to the, to the next one when somebody's sick you laying hand what are you trying to do are you not trying to bring like the power of god in the person trying to show the person that god is with you and god is going to heal you it's more like actually having physically god's hand on somebody by you using your own okay that's how i feel sitting here makes me it gives me a lot of question questionings i go like what is really going on into our churches right now okay i feel like no matter how rich that Liberia is no matter how well known he is he didn't have the, 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 the he didn't have the right to do that and having um, Ted, uh, having to see um, T.D. Jack just opening his arms and allowing him to do so also shows me that among us, we feel like when somebody's rich, they actually can do anything just because they are rich. Automatically, we bow down to them, we worship them just for them being rich, for them being famous. Okay, We don't anymore look at, we don't check anymore the, the Christianity background. We don't anymore um, try to understand um, how, you, how is their connection with God. We don't wonder all these things anymore. We don't do any checkups anymore about how is the how they strongly related to God. The fact that they already rich, which means God already knows them. God has God has chosen them. God has um, anointed them. Automatically, they become a God. I just want to tell anybody right now that not anybody should be laying hands on you. The power that is transferred from that person, you do not know it. Everything is spiritual. You don't see it. Okay? For you to see it, you need to be somebody who's so much encountered with God. Everything nowadays is spiritual. Any word somebody says to you right now, when you say amen to it, or when you clap hands to it, or when you try to know it, you don't know the impact of it behind in the spiritual world. You don't know it. So do not let anybody lay hands on you. I don't know about I don't know the, the um the connection between Tyler Perry and T D Jakes. I don't know about their French friendship. I don't know much about their backgrounds and stuff. But however, that was not supposed to happen, especially in front of everybody. What are you teaching to others? So anybody who's rich, we can go to them. Anybody who's famous can lay hands on me. Why? Okay. I feel like that was that was um irrelevant. That was that could have been avoided in so many ways. They could have just prayed all together, maybe hold hands, but not to let him lay hands on him. That was so uncalled for. We're not praying anymore the way we should be praying. We're not seeking God the way we should seek God. That's why now we believe in everything the pastors do, everything the pastor says, every way that the pastor is conducting themselves. Um, it's right to us, it should be like that. We don't question things anymore. We just go like, oh, so what? What? So what? Why? What? What's wrong about it? Okay. I feel like um, that could have, that, that's what's so uncalled for um, in so many ways. Nobody should be just laying hands on you. No matter who they are, no matter how rich they are, no matter how famous they are. I feel like pastors nowadays are just, um, they are, they are not, they are not even as great as they should be. They are not even as great as they should be. And they say, the Bible says that you should know that you are
show you something actually to show you either you feel like it is light or it is not but always follow your intuition it's never lies most of the time it's correct okay. thank you so much for watching it was a pleasure being on your screen um right here at life with amandine hope you learned a thing or two if you disagree with something please let me know down on the comment sections i'll be glad to hear from you the comment section is always open for more conversation thank you so much until next time god bless